Lacan freshwaters are home to nearly 100 freshwater fish species representing 18 families and showcasing remarkable biodiversity. Among these aquatic treasures, Sri Lanka hosts some of the rarest and most exquisite freshwater fish species. The Ashoka barb, often referred to as the Yellow Queen, graces the water with its regal beauty. In the Knuckles Mountains, the elusive Martin Steins barb navigates the currents. The island's water waves also host the illustrious Danio family and the brilliantly colored Pallidus fire rasbora and Ceylon fire rasbora. Among this diverse assembly, the genus Pethia holds a special place. This family comprises five species, all endemic to Sri Lanka. These Pethia species are not only a testament to the island's ecological will, but also a poignant symbol of conservation as they navigate the delicate balance between abundance and extinction. Our journey is said to uncover the secrets of the rare and critically endangered bandula barbs. Rampant tree logging has been ravaging their habitat, disrupting the delicate balance of the ecosystem. This tiny flowing freshwater stream habitat for Sri Lanka's most critically endangered fish species. Bandulababs are restricted to a very narrow range locality called Galapiti Mudder, near the northern boundary of Kalani Basin in Kegol district of Sri Lanka. This species is limited to a few kilometers of a tiny village stream which flows across forest patches, paddy fields and plantations. Bandulabab lives outside the protected area network of Sri Lanka. Water is abused in every way and the bandulabab survives at the edge of extinction. When this species was first described in 1991, the population was estimated to be around 2,000. However, within one decade, the bandulabab population decreased to 200 to 300 due to deforestation, illegal collection for the ornamental fish trade, pollution from agrochemicals and land use changes. In 2013 to 2014, a well-known conservation effort carried out involving biodiversity experts IUCN, Ministry of Environment Department of Wildlife Conservation Department of Forest Conservation and the Divisional Secretariat of Varakapola, rising the population to 1,300. <laughs> ไอ้ก็ตัวโกงตัวโกงหาสิไอ้ไก่มาอ่ะมาตรงนี้แบบมาแบนตรงมาหาตาแบนตรงนี้ตามอ่ะเป็นนี่เห็นเหรอฮึ
Despite ongoing threats, the Bandulabab highlights the urgent need for conservation. Education and public awareness are crucial. The Bandulabab's plight underscores the need for immediate and sustained efforts. The time to act is now for its survival and our planet's health.